Scenarios in which I do not die. When death has already happened, when I am a quiet fire beneath the checkered soil, if I have already given my soul back to the rainbow-hungry sky, then there is nothing left to take from me there. A man pulled a gun on me, fires, and the bullet and I talk about our depression. How we just want to sit in someone's heart forever, but keep being forced to pass through, emptied by the very flame that birthed us. Trauma is the heirloom that both my parents gave me. Two dark ghettos came together and multiply themselves by themselves into four poor black children, and only one of them looks like both his parents, which means he almost looks a lot like no one. In this scenario, my real life steps in. I am choked by the cord that connects me to my mother, and I don't breathe, but I don't die either. Months before, I am only shot at in the womb. The rounds miss, frame my mother's soft swell of me, and now my head is square out of spite. I forget how to breathe just long enough to see if there is a God, but I forgot my eyes and the warmth of my mother's blood. My father screams the entire time, and soon as I almost have an answer, I am a crying mass stuck in this stranger's home until I am no longer welcome. This world is a stranger's home that no one asks to be a part of, but here we are later. My car becomes the aluminum can in the highway, an angry alcoholic. My father is screaming again, drunk off brake fluid, until the can is empty and the drunk crushes the 50 miles off the highway, and I still walk away from it in this scenario. I am just wind in a child's giggle, and I disappear into someone else's life until my mother remembers my name so hard. I breeze into my body at her doorstep, running away from brain flu, mental illness, depression, Depression, protest, active activism, exhaustion, death. In each scenario, I do not die, I document. These poems are just a full report. My heart is not even broken anymore. Maybe it never was. Maybe I had it the whole time. In my chest, a 1967 record player had my grandma's voice on repeat. She says everything but I love you and I do not die. I am a dinner party guest of all my mother's sisters and the only thing I am served is my grandfather father's death certificate and French dressing in a grease fire. And I hate French dressing, but I do not die. The sky begins to fall, curious to touch the man who does not die. And everything else around me is dust, and I do not die. And this is actually how it feels every day, to have a mental illness that wants to kill you using your body as the murder weapon. These are suicide tests, and I fail the class every time. Depression think it got me. If I already feel dead, then it's just is well done. Since I keep surviving all of these attempts at my life in this scenario, in this life, I do not die. I was not born. I give my soul back to my mother's miscarriage before me, and I am reborn a happier child in a different body, looking just like someone that nobody has ever met. <laughs>